problem. You guys wanted me to solve for x. So it says 4 cosine squared of x minus 3 equals 0. So to do a problem like this, we're going to have to remember our unit circle. Now, for those of you that said, oh, you know, why don't we use our unit circle and blah, 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 blah. Well, now it's going to come to a point, ladies and gentlemen, where we're not going to have the unit circle with us. So it's become very important that we can go back and kind of remember where our unit circle, what values we're going to have. So here I have 4 cosine squared of x minus 3 equals 0. All right. So I've been telling you guys, you need to make sure you have that unit circle memorized, because here's now coming to this point where we have to know these values of um, our trigonometric functions. And if we don't know the values, we need a way to remember how to find each one of those values. So the first thing we need to do, obviously, is we need to solve for our cosine of x. So first thing we do is going to add 3 to both sides. We're going to have 4 cosine squared of x equals 3 divided by 4. So right now I'm just using inverse operations. Then I need to solve for cosine of x. So I'm going to take the square root. So therefore, I have cosine of x equals plus or minus the square root of 3 over the square root of 4. Remember, I can distribute that square root to just the top and the bottom. Therefore, I know that this is going to be um, just 2, right? So actually, I'll just say, so square root equals plus or minus the square root of 3 over 2. So what they're asking us to do is find the values when cosine of x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 3 over 2. So we need to go back and remember, when is the cosine value equal to that? Now let's just go back and remember our, our major points. We had the first one, which is 30 degrees, or pi over 6. We had 45 degrees, or pi over 4. And then we had 60 degrees, which would be pi over 3. So I'll write the coordinate points if you guys forgot them. And remember, these are all x, y, x, y. So out of those three points, when is cosine square root of 3 over 2? At pi over 6, right? So we could say x equals pi over 6. And then remember, when else would cosine of x equal pi over 6? Right, it's going to be this point right down here, right? And then so if you know that this is pi over 6, this is pi away. Right? This is going to be pi away, away from 2 pi. Remember, all the way around the circle is 2 pi, right? So it would be 11 pi over 6, right? Because 5 pi over 6 would be over here, right? Because it would be 6 pi over 6. So 11 pi over 6 over here, which would be a negative square root of 3 pi over 2. But we're just looking for the positive value, so it would be 11 pi over 6. Got it? So you guys have to remember, if anything, just remember these first three quadrant, these th coordinates, because then you can relate them. Yes? Why what? Are you only oh, you're right, actually. I'm sorry. You're right, it is plus or minus, right? So we need to do the negatives as well. So, yes, 5 over 6 works as well. Sorry. So, 5 over 6, and then this point right here, which would be 7 pi over 6. And do they give us a constraint on this one? Yes, they say between 0 and 2 pi. So these would be your only values, right? And then remember what, it, what, it, uh, remember what we could do is if they didn't give us a constraint, remember that plus 2 pi n, which would be coterminal angles that you could do, right? Yeah. <laughs> Too much, right? OK. Not for me. I love this stuff. Huh? 